Yo, good morning. So there's this person named Ollie London who got pretty famous for getting a bunch of plastic surgery to look like Jimin from BTS. And there are a lot of mixed reviews about him. Mixed reviews? What? Why am I speaking like he's like an Amazon product? There's just a lot of opinions surrounding him and his entire existence. Personally, I think that he was manufactured in a lab just for the purpose of entertaining us. Probably like if Asian people were asked what they think a Korea boo looks like, uh, th this is what they would think of. He is a very interesting person and he's done a lot of questionable things that a lot of people have commented on. And because those people commented on the things that he's done, he decided to make a diss track on all, all of them, including me. But we'll get to that in a little bit. But all I know is that he is goddamn freaking entertaining. He's literally on my TikTok for you page every single day, not by choice. Like it literally shows me his face every single day because the TikTok algorithm shows you what you like. Do I like this stuff now? Oh no. If you've never seen any of his TikToks, uh, here, let's look at some together. You got me. Na na la bona ka kwa kwa. You got you. I'm sorry, did he just say na na la, na -na -la bona la? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have memorized the lyrics for some of these. I could have learned like trigonometry or calculus, but no, I have Ollie London lyrics na -na -na smashed into my brain. I don't even I think that was Korean. You. I think that was the language that Sims like to speak. Er, scratch that. That actually might be offensive to Sims. <laughs> but yeah, Ollie London TikToks in a nutshell. Anyways, me and Ollie have a bit of history together. Here, let us dive into some Advasion Ollie lore. So in 2020, Advasion decided to draw Ollie London some fan art. Mind you, it wasn't good fan art, but I tried my best, so nonetheless, it was still fan art for Ollie London and I sent it to him on Twitter, not really expecting to get acknowledged. The fan art looked like this, so yeah, I was a little bit nervous to get noticed for this. But by some sort of miracle, I was able to get the attention of the legend himself. And I even got a compliment on my fan art, I think. Because right after that, I got blocked. <laughs> I don't know, man. Ollie, you were sending a lot of mixed signals back there. Sort of like Asian parents, are they able to show human emotions or not? But after that interaction, I was just left very confused. But don't worry, guys, the story does have a happy ending. Because by some sort of miracle again, we were able to squash our beef by literally not acknowledging the situation at all, and by me drawing him some more fan art, even though I got blocked for the first fan art. Hey, I wasn't blocked on Instagram, so I was like, hey, another way to annoy? No way, to show my appreciation. Which he also acknowledged on his Instagram. So like what happened? You ever feel like 50 emotions at the exact same time? Well that was me for those past two days. And then ta-da! I got unblocked. But just think about it, there is no way that this is his actual personality. I feel like he's just doing all of this for clout, which I mean get your bag, but I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. Like, look at this TikTok. He called Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, Aaron Yogurt. Sanang heyo, Aaron Yeager, Yoja Chingu. Apparently, I've been mispronouncing Aaron Yeager's name. So a few of you guys have told me it's not Aaron Yeager, it's actually Aaron Yogurt. Pardon me, anime isn't boys named after dairy products. What is this? I think I've just come to the conclusion that Ollie London has 1500 IQ and he's big braining all the people that think they have bigger brains than him by doing all this stuff to get attention and people are literally feeding it to him like uh, with a spoon and I'm literally doing it as well by making this video. Oh well, I needed something to do during the week so we'll just call this a fun experiment. The only way that my brain can make sense of this is knowing that this is not real and he's just playing some sort of character. Unless it's not. In that case, I have nothing to say. I will I will just be over here, minding my own business. Oh wait, I literally can't because he made a diss track. I am included in there. All right, so I think I'm just gonna play you my part. My part, like I had some sort of say in this music video, just because I don't wanna get copyright striked or sued or any of the above. I'm just gonna show you a little snippet. Advasion, I need persuasion. I think you're such a fan. Like, boy, I know you're secret love of me. All up on the ground. All up on the ground. Huh? So these are the lyrics. And now that I'm reading them, they make a lot more sense. I literally couldn't understand anything he was saying in the music video. Advasion, I need persuasion. I think you're such a fan. Like, boy, I know your secret love in me. All up on the ground. Wow, powerful stuff.
Also, isn't that the wrong your? Oh no, Ollie, how much did you spend on this music video? You should have invested into like Grammarly or something. <laughs> but there you go, that was my deep dive into Ollie London's diss track. A lot of creators in this video made their own video about it, so if you want to check them out, they probably have a better perspective of what they think about their own part, and maybe like the other people. Alright, so I think that the only thing to do after subjecting myself to this music video is to draw him some more fan art as a thank you present. I've never been in a K-pop idol music video before, so I'm very honored. The only way that I can thank him is with more fan art. I think we'll just call it an anniversary present for when we first met. Aw, the good old days. I actually don't know if I'm blocked on anything, but hopefully he notices this time. Nice to see all of you at a good old 11.21pm for me. Yes, we're doing another art stream. Another unhinged late night art stream. I'm gonna start drawing Mr. Ollie London. So I like to use Sharpies because with Sharpies, you cannot go back and look on your mistakes, which is perfect for when you were bad at drawing. Let me find Mr. Ollie London. Let me find a nice picture of him that we can use. I think he's gotten like better looking. This was him like back in the day. Okay. Ollie London! Okay, that's actually not bad. Okay, a little piece of hair here. It looks like it's all attached together. Like it's just one giant piece of hair. And then his face do a little like smoochy smooch. Looking good so far. Thank you. I feel bad for the dog in the picture. <laughs> Wait, no, that's too big. He has a little like bump, a little booty, but not this much. Why did someone say Shane Dawson entered the chat? I don't think he likes dogs. Isn't he more of a cat person? Okay, not, not bad so far, actually. Starting to see some sort of resemblance to a human, I think. Why why that look like a foot? Okay, what do you think? Lord Farquaad vibes. Ollie London, I I really believe that he's, um. what's that term that people use? An industry plant? Okay, sorry, I just have to write Make Korea Great Again on his hat. Oh, the dog, yes. How you draw a dog? Why do people keep saying Shane Dawson entered the chat? Does that look like a dog? Okay, so Miss Ollie London has a nice pink shirt on. Actually, the more I look at my art, the more I... You know, I, I don't really have any feelings towards my art. When I look at it, I don't think it's good or bad. What color are these eyes? <laughs> oh my god! You guys, it's just Ollie London. He can't hurt you. <laughs> looks kind of... Looks kind of sussy baka to me. Ollie London, a little bit of a sussy baka. He didn't pay all that money to have like a normal nose. He paid all that money to have a skinny snatch nose. So as an artist, I think technically I am lacking in like technical skills and just like proper technique. But I think in terms of just like vibes, I'm pretty good at conveying the right emotions. I'm really good at getting like the general gist of the picture. Oh no, this Pikachu can! Are you guys familiar with e Egg Yao? I'm wondering if he'll pop in on the chat. <laughs> oh, Ollie, if you're here, give me a sign. Oh my god! Anyone see Ollie here? Is the neck wrong? I think the neck's, ne neck looks right. Because there, when you have a neck, it, it's under your face, so it, there should be like shadow, right? So it should be darker. I think the neck is fine. What, do you, what are you talking about? Should I make this Pikachu into an emote? I think that would be really funny. What have I done? Okay, well, that was kind of fun. After drawing, it was time for another attempt at making contact with Mr. Ollie London. Okay, so here's what I tweeted. And here's what I posted on my story. All we're doing now is just waiting for a response. We're just playing the waiting game. Man, I, I know I'm playing right into his trap, but I can't help it. This is just so fun. <laughs> After posting the fan art of Ollie, something unexpected happened. His Instagram page said that he was no longer with us, and I had no idea when that happened. As you could probably tell, I was very confused. A lot of people were saying that it was a prank that he did to get attention. Someone said my fan art was the reason why. But after a few days, it turns out that his accounts were actually hacked. Which really sucks, I actually feel pretty bad for him. Even if Ollie is someone you don't like, or he has opinions that you don't agree with, I don't think he deserves this. There were also a couple people that said, aw, too bad it wasn't true. Don't say shit like that, because karma is scary. You can disagree with him, but that's just going a bit too far. 
Okay, so as I was sending him this fan art, I noticed on his Instagram, he mentioned that me and PewDiePie have good hearts. Oh my god, what? Does this mean I'm like one step closer to being related to PewDiePie? Hey bros! Uh, wait, what does he say again? <laughs> Alright guys, uh, what is the takeaway from all of this? Basically, everything you see on the internet is some sort of performance and don't take everything so seriously. Ollie London is either a comedian, a genius, or something else, but I can't even think of a word to describe it. <laughs> Oh, and I have this in my possession now. What am I gonna do with this? Should I sell it? Is anyone interested in some Ollie London fan art? I know people be selling fan art of BTS and other K-pop idols. So, hey, get your K-pop idols here. Only one dollar. Oh my god, why have I turned into an Ollie London stan account? This is awful. Well, if you want to follow me on Twitch where I pursue my passion of being some sort of artist, or if you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, it will be in the link. Have a good day, don't be dumb, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!